dead cells of brain affect cognitive function. Doing crossword puzzles and memory training games and taking omega-3 fish oil supplements boost our brain health. We do all this to keep our brain clean and mind sharp. There is a difference in this process of cleaning between the healthy and diseased brain. According to a study published on May 26, 2016 in PLOS Biology, Dr. Amanda Sierra, Director of the Laboratory of Glial Cell Biology at the Aku Karabask Center for Neuroscience led the study. When neurons die, their debris need to be quickly removed in order for the surrounding brain tissue to continue to function properly. But this cleaning process is impaired in neurodegenerative diseases. Elimination of the dead neuron corpses, in a process called phagocytosis. This is carried out by highly specialized cells in the brain called microglia. These small cells have many ramifications that are in constant motion and are specially equipped to detect and destroy any foreign element, including dead neurons. There needs to be a balance between scavenger microglia, that respond by disposing of neurons that express eat me signals. Now, for the first time, the process of neuronal death and microglial phagocytosis in the diseased brain. During epilepsy-associated seizures, neurons die. In this situation, the microglia behave abnormally contrary to what happens in the healthy brain. Microglia become blind and unable to find the lingering dead neurons and destroy them. Therefore, the dead neurons accumulate, spreading the damage to neighboring neurons and triggering an inflammatory response that can worsen the brain injury. When dead neurons are not completely removed from the brain, the brain's process of attempting to clear the damaged tissue could increase inflammation and cause secondary damage. The researchers believe phagocytosis, the elimination of dead neurons, is at the core of the regenerative response of the damaged tissue. Because it prevents the spillover of toxic intracellular contents, and is actively anti-inflammatory. The microglia in the brain, rapidly engulfs and degrades cells that are dying. Thus, potentially be key to brain regeneration, because of their ability to get rid of dead cells that prevent further damage. This could lead to new treatments to alleviate the effects of not just epilepsy, but Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and stroke. Currently, the researchers are developing drugs hoping to boost the brain's cleaning process and help in the treatment of epilepsy. In other words, if researchers could figure out how to unblind the microglia, this could help halt neuronal deterioration in brain diseases. In neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, nerve cells can be damaged in many ways. Parkinson's disease attacks neurons that transfer messages using dopamine, which is also involved in controlling movements. This causes the tremors seen in patients with the condition. In Alzheimer's disease, the neurons associated with learning and memory are lost. However, in both conditions, neurons do not die immediately, they first become dysfunctional. These findings warrant further research into alternative therapies that would slow the progression of neurodegenerative diseases. Meanwhile, the steps we can take to clean our brain include good sleep and good exercise, which clears toxins in the brain. Be vigilant about the treatable risk factors for dementia, including hypertension, diabetes, and hyperlipidemia. Maintain a healthy brain function. Thank you.